outrage tonight after Senator Obama blasts small-town America. Now, those remarks could seriously damage Senator Obama's presidential campaign. Now, Senators Clinton and McCain immediately pounced on Obama's comments. They criticized Obama for being insensitive and out of touch. The Obama campaign tried to limit the political damage as soon as this news broke. Let's turn to Bill Schneider, our uh, political correspondent. Uh, Bill, your re reaction to these remarks this evening? Well, it's certainly true that a lot of voters are angry and bitter over the war, over uh, trade, over the economy. But he got into trouble for one precise reason, and that was that he said that people turn to religion, religion and guns, by which I assume he means things like hunting, and that they criticize trade and illegal immigration because they are bitter and frustrated with their lives. Now that's a causal assertion. Religion and guns and uh, criticism of trade and illegal immigration because they're bitter and frustrated with their lives. A lot of voters are going to find that statement untrue and insulting to their values and condescending. So I think, to be fair, we have to hear a fuller explanation from Senator Obama of what he meant. Perhaps uh, an explanation and maybe an apology would be in order. But we need to hear more about what was his intention in making that causal statement. I think it's clear Hillary Clinton didn't raise the other issues. It's interesting. She didn't raise the other issues that, that Bill Schneider was talking about. She raised the issue of saying, I don't see bitter voters out there. A bitter is a, a really inartful way of probably saying angry voters, which is what he probably, which is what Obama meant, although I don't want to, in, you know, I don't want to say what, what uh, Barack Obama meant. And of course, there are angry voters all over the country. We all know that, those of us who've been covering politics. So, you know, I, I, I agree with uh, my colleague Bill Schneider that you need a fuller explanation here. And this is a presidential campaign. And both Hillary Clinton and John McCain have a common enemy right now, and that's Barack Obama. Jonathan, your thoughts on, on this uh, statement, please. Well, politically, it's a major problem for Obama, uh, potentially here in this Pennsylvania primary 10 days away, but especially if he does capture the Democratic nomination and becomes their, their nominee this fall for this reason. The Republican Party now has uh, key evidence of uh, him offering elitist comments, and they will play this tape over and over again. Uh, look, if Lee Atwater and Carl Rove and Bill Clinton were told that at a Pacific Heights fundraiser in San Francisco, Obama talked about religion and guns in that way, uh, you know, they would be licking their chops. It's almost a dream come true in a lot of ways. So the Obama folks are going to have to offer a better explanation, certainly. And that one sentence could well haunt Barack Obama. We will be back with more discussion on this. Let's take a moment for tonight's poll. And we are asking you, do you believe that Senator Obama's, uh, Barack Obama's comments reveal an elitist attitude toward every hardworking American? Cast your vote at ludobs.com. We'll bring you the results a little bit later in the, in the uh, broadcast. Coming up, it could be a critical moment for the presidential campaign. Senator Obama slams small town Americans, calling them bitter, frustrated, We'll have extensive coverage. We'll hear from the nation's leading political analysts, so stay with us. Interesting, uh, the tone that, that turned up in the speech just moments before this broadcast began. Um, she gave a very upbeat speech. She uh, de declared her deep roots to Pennsylvania, going back successive generations. And, and she uh, really had a very upbeat speech about the future of the American worker. It was a very sharp contrast to this tone of bitterness. Roland, um, is it going to divide out into those who are bitter and those who are not, who, those who see the future and those who see the past? Let's uh, turn back to the poll, and it's a very interesting poll tonight. Do you believe that Senator Barack Obama's comments reveal his elitist attitude toward every hardworking American? Cast your vote at ludobs.com, and we'll bring you the results a little bit later in the broadcast. Also coming up, much more on Senator Obama's political attack on small town America. Three of the nation's leading political analysts will join me here, so stay with us. Robert, I'd like to start with you, um, and I would also like to say that we did invite uh, on several of the superdelegates for Obama, so uh, they had op opportunity, um, they had invitations to appear on this broadcast. Clearly, this issue also may further the divide that exists in the Democratic Party between working people, uh, middle-income working people who are voting for Hillary Clinton and older women and John McCain supporters. Now he was talking about Pennsylvania, uh, working class Pennsylvania, small town America, but he did it in a venue in California that was extremely wealthy. Uh, the donors had tapped out their maximum contribution. Um, Michael, 
what do you think about the, the juxtaposition of what he said and where he said it and how much damage this might do to the Obama campaign? Well, I happen to come from one of those small towns in Pennsylvania. And uh, I mean, I know I know what people there feel about religion and guns and I immigrants. And it's not about just hating other people. I mean, they don't embrace religion out of hate. They don't hunt or use their guns for target practice out of hate. So I think there, there's... It's not just an elitism, it, it delegitimizes the way people live, the way they choose to live in America. I don't, you know, this is like, this is like right, you know, on steroids. I mean, this is, a, I think, a disaster for Obama. I don't see how he can explain it. He'll have to apologize and hope that mercy gets him through this. Mm -hmm. He's someone who obviously gives a great speech and he's excited a lot of young people, but people now want to know more about him. He may be the President of the United States and they want to know what his value system is. And the combination of Reverend Wright, who obviously he was his religious mentor and these kinds of comments make people step back and say who is this guy and what does he really think uh, there's a lot of people who share the values of those small towns in Pennsylvania and Indiana and other places across this country and uh, it's not about uh, the steel mills having left 25 years ago it's about we get up every day we go to work this is what's very important to us